Yo, yeah, what's up everybody? Llama here, and I've got a game of some Titanfall on the map. I think it's Airbase. We'll see once it loads here. One of my, my uh, favorite maps in the game. So there's a lot of maps on it so far. There are 14 maps, which is um, kind of a bad thing. And the only reason I say that is because I like most of the maps. Some of the outdoor ones aren't as fun. Like what's the uh, like the desert one and stuff like that. I'm not the biggest fan of that just because there's a lot of high and low grounds. And you kind of want to be on the high ground. But once you get in the Titans, it really doesn't matter. So you can have people on the high grounds and stuff like that. But you get in the Titan... Um, doesn't matter if there's a lot of enemy pilots who have uh, the better uh, side of the map where they spawn on the top because Titans kind of dictate the uh, game style and if there's a lot of people camping like that you just use the um, machine gun attachment or not the attachment the uh, machine gun thing for the Titan instead of the uh, little turbo boost things that shoot like uh, one rocket at you, you just use a regular like uh, LMG machine gun that those things have so that's good for maps like that and then you just walk over people too I see a lot of people are using the machine gun because they uh, when they use the burst fire the uh, 40 millimeter cannon They can't really hit people and they're like um, on the ground and stuff like that So many people forget you can sprint in the Titan so just run over people you just have to walk near him and it's the instant splatter kill which is nice so um yeah, This game's fun so far. I think it's been out for a day. I've had like uh, say six hours played so far I've at level 30 something like 35 34 35 something like that and they've got 50 levels in this game which i thought was gonna be kind of dumb i was like dude we're gonna be able to rank up pretty quick here because the first few ones go by super quick like i said i got like six hours in it five hours six hours um the ones now are getting a little hard not harder but a little longer to uh, rank up in because i just pretty much played attrition the entire time i tried like one game of hard point and was like whatever it's uh i don't know i like attrition that's where i have the most Majority of people are at, I think, but it's kind of weird. It doesn't show you how many players are online and how many players are in um, each playlist, which I guess it's because they have the different servers you can select, so that might be one of the reasons, but I just find it kind of odd. You can't see the total amount of people online or the total amount of people in attrition, like I'm in the East Coast server. I should be able to see how many people are playing, but I'm sure it's over 100,000 at any given time so far. That's the thing just uh, came out yesterday, and I think I read the Xbox One sold um, 3 million copies in December was the last time they put out a sales thing, and then PlayStation said they got 6 million as of last month, so um, I think uh, Titanfall will be lucky to do 2 million, I'm not sure, so they no sold another million consoles, so they got 4 million, I think they, they could probably do 2 million here the first month just on the Xbox One alone, but I think once it comes out for the 360, that's where they're going to really... Uh, make a lot of their money at which the only concern i would have for that i think it's gonna be good but there are some times in this game where i get uh frame rate droppage which is kind of annoying when there's like 12 titans on the map at once you've got like all your guys with them all the enemy on them so um they paid another company uh, i forget what the company's name was but uh they were doing the port over version for the 360 so as long as they can make it run smooth i think it'll be uh fun to play for everybody on the 360 here you can see i think i was in the titan the entire <laughs> game here they couldn't really kill me and this map's pretty fun it reminds me of a uh, fuel depot from the original gears of war but um, i won't say uh, i don't know if the longevity of this game will be uh, pretty good like i said there was the 50 levels and then they have generations which are pretty much prestige mode you can just do the same thing um the lack of uh I'm just going to talk about all the negatives in this video i guess i made one or like 10 seconds ago and restarted it because it sucked and that's what i started it off with but um yeah, it's gonna be all the negatives so i'm just gonna kind of uh talk about what but there's way more pros in that so um the uh, lack of customization and stuff is kind of annoying. There's not that many assault rifles. There's like four or five different uh, assault rifles. There's like three SMGs and like two shotguns, the smart pistol, and then you get the sidearm pistol. So that's kind of a bummer. I thought there was going to be a lot of different guns like in uh, Call of Duty. But um, all the challenges are pretty cool. They've got a crap load of challenges. You can actually see them for whatever reason. Ghost wanted to make it so you can see weapon challenges and like kill challenges. They uh, decided to take features away, which is pretty retarded. So, um,. Yeah, you can see me splatter everyone, which is one thing people do. Like I said, I don't know if I said it in this video or the one I just restarted, but everyone doesn't want to use the 40 millimeter cannon here because they like shoot at people and they can't kill them instantly when they're on the ground. It's like uh, you hit A and then the directional button and you get that little turbo boost, or you can sprint in the Titan, just step on people and insta kills them, even if it's a pilot or a grown, it doesn't matter, just uh, kills them super easy. And then, um, what else? A lot of people are complaining about the uh, AI in this game, but I actually think it's a pretty good feature there. I think they buffed up the specters a little, because they'll actually kill you now if you're taking damage. They're not just going to uh, stay in there, although you can still hack them and have them run around for you and like uh, be on your team to go after other people. But um, the grunts, I think they make the game more fast-paced. There's constantly action. You constantly see the little uh, minions on the map and stuff like that, so it's uh, a lot faster paced with all the parkour and then just uh, so many things in the game happening at once, which is uh, pretty uh, nice uh, nice little uh, pace difference from Call of Duty Ghost where you see somebody once every like five minutes if you're playing uh, 
6v6 TDM on one of the bigger maps, like uh, what's the uh, snow map, and I think Siege, which is probably the worst map in Call of Duty history. That one's horrible to play uh, TDM on. I don't know why, if they don't put smaller maps in ground war, why they won't take these huge ones and take them out of team deathmatch or at least barricade stuff off. So. Uh, you don't have to play on the entire freaking thousand foot square foot of the map or whatever. So, um, yeah, what else were the negatives in this game? Lack of uh, guns and stuff like that. Um, like I said, I was getting a little bit of frame rate droppage when uh, all the Titans were on there at once, when you had like your six and the enemy five or six. But um, I think uh, it's smoothing down. It's in 720p, but you can't really tell. The thing was pretty freaking uh, gorgeous, anyways. I don't think it would notice at all, and I think a lot of people, I guess if you have the Xbox One, you have to have an HD TV, but um, a lot of people still have standard dev TVs and stuff like that, so I guess they'll use it for the 360. I was, I was gonna say it doesn't matter, but I guess uh, I forgot the uh, Xbox One only does HDMI, which is kind of annoying. You can't do component with it, so you have to have a uh, newer TV to uh, play on the console. And then, um, what else? The servers are nice. I haven't gotten any crashes so far. I heard some people were. They're like, oh, you just gotta be patient, the servers will be back up and working soon. It's like, dude, if your game just released a day ago, your server shouldn't be crashing already. But I just heard other people say that. I haven't had any of those problems at all. But um, like I said, I don't know if it's got the longevity of Call of Duty. Call of Duty's got all the customizations, all the new DLC and stuff like that. Now, this game is extremely fun to play once you put it in, you're like addicted. But it's not one that you just like, oh, dude, I, you're, like you're doing something else, like watching TV or doing homework or something. Like, oh, dude, I wish I was playing... Uh, Titanfall right now, like how Call of Duty is like the first two months it comes out, if that makes any sense, how like addicting it is. Once you play the game, it's addicting, but if you're just like watching TV, it's like, oh, I could play Titanfall, I guess, or I could keep doing this, but um, once you pop it in, it's fun, but you kind of don't have the urge to like want to play it all the time, just like uh, Call of Duty games. So I think um, the next Call of Duty is going to suck MW4 because they're going to let Sledgehammer do it. And we saw what a great job they did with the uh, multiplayer on MW3, probably uh, the worst multiplayer in Call of Duty history. So. I think that one will suck. I think um, once we see Treyarch's new game in two years, I want to say it's two years. They get two more years to work on it. Since that'll come out for the new consoles and stuff, I think that's either what's going to uh, make or break Call of Duty. It's going to either save them and bring them back up or just uh, kind of let them die off. Cause they've got that game Destiny coming out, which I got no clue what it is about. It's supposed to be huge. I hope it uh, <laughs> fails just because I hate Activision and I know they're uh, publishing it. So, um,. Yeah, Titanfall was pretty fun though, but um, it sucks that it's only on the Xbox One. I think uh, it might come out for PS4 if the sales numbers are huge, but I, I was also hearing Microsoft was looking at it like uh, like Halo, how they bought Bungie or they bought the Halo uh, intellectual property, so that's why it never went to uh, PlayStation. So um, they might do that with Titanfall and keep it always on the Xbox, but it's definitely a uh, reason to get the Xbox. I wouldn't say get it for the Xbox or go get an Xbox One just for the game, but. Um, I don't know, try it on the 360, run it first, see how uh, well it runs, if it doesn't run too smooth, maybe uh, get it on the Xbox One, because um, it's the only game to play for the One right now, everything else is sucks, so you've got like Ghost and Forza, which gets boring after an hour of Forza, it's the same thing, there's like 15 tracks or something, it's just like, alright, get bored of uh, racing after a while, but um, overall this game's pretty cool, I don't think it's gonna have like a real long longevity, I think after 3 or 4 months people are gonna kinda wanna take a break for it from it but uh, for now at least it's fun but that's how it was with Ghost I like loved that game for two months and now it like pains me to play it it's so slow paced but uh at least this one's action paced there's uh, a lot of maps too which um is cool and then there's put support three DLC uh three different DLC drops out so hopefully we can see some uh, more weapons or something in that that would have been nice um gun customization a little bit more there's a few attachments but if we could have got like camos or something that would have been uh no, sir, there's different titans and stuff. There's a lot of uh, a lot of perks and stuff in this game, too. So overall, it's pretty fun. But um, yeah, I think Attrition is the best game type there is. Uh, last Titan Standing, which I really don't like. So I like the uh, pilot element where you're running around as a pilot, too. I don't just want to play as a titan the entire time. And then hard point and all that stuff. Capture the flag. It's like, yeah, I don't really care for that too much. When I play like Call of Duty, I usually just like to uh, play TDM most of the time anyways. Another cool thing is you can't hear footsteps in this game, so you don't have to wear a headset, which always annoyed me when I played uh, Ghost. It's like if you don't have a headset on, you're at a disadvantage. And I like to I listen to a lot of podcasts and stuff when I play, so you can really uh, do that too much. Or you have to like turn your speakers up out the ass to hear it over the uh, game sounds on the headset. But that game's over. Final score is uh, 81 attrition points, so you can see 11-0. and 0. Killed a bunch of uh, little grunts and stuff like that. So uh, that's it, guys. More uh, Titanfall coming. And then, uh, yeah. Bye.